am doing my yarrow tincture today. I trays too. Gosh, I just love yarrow. So yarrow is also called Achilles something. I just forgot the Latin name suddenly. But it's called Achilles or Achilles or it's, it's named after Achilles because legend has it that Achilles mother dipped him in a bath of yarrow for protection and she held him by his heel. So that's why the only part on his body that got injured in war was his Achilles tendon. But yarrow seriously has been used for, it's called the blood herb. And the reason it's called the blood herb is because your body knows how to use it to slow down bleeding or to bring it on, depending on what you're needing. So it can bring on menstruation, um, but if you have a wound and everything, you can pack it with yarrow. It helps stop the bleeding and it's a very good wound disinfectant. Yarrow is amazing for various skin ailments, bug bites, stings, but it's really good if you have a fever or a cold and flu to drop a few of these drops in some elderberry syrup or mix it with elderberry tea or something to help break fevers and stop cold and flu symptoms. It's a good immune system boost Yarrow has so many benefits. I'm gonna also make some infusions with this and add it to some salves for skin problems. This is one that I just don't wanna go without because it's, it's kind of like a fix-all in a way. All right, y'all. So I thought of the Latin name of this plant and it's Achilles millifolium or something like that. It'll get you close enough if you Google it, I'm sure. Just Google Latin name of Yarrow. <laughs> but anyhow, all I do is just like chop this plant up. Sometimes I'll get like a Nutribullet blender and just put the vodka in there with the chopped up plant and blend it. Gosh guys, these leaves smell so medicinal. It really doesn't taste good, honestly. If you taste it, it tastes like such strong medicine. You can tell that yarrow is very potent. I think that's why I appreciate it. Ratio when you're tincture making is a one to five for dried herbs and then a one to two for fresh herbs. So that means that one part herb, five parts alcohol if the herb is dry. And then if the herb is fresh, it's still got some water content and it's gonna be, it's gonna take up more space. So you're gonna wanna fill it one to two, so just half the jar and then the rest with alcohol. You need to use 80 proof or above to keep it shelf stable and to pull out enough potent properties of the medicine. And honestly, since it's dry, there's no water left, so it's gonna be safe if the leaves are covered completely with alcohol. So I like to add more, as you can see. I did almost half. And this is just so whenever I pour it off, I have a super potent tincture. I could get more product out of just doing the one to five, but I know that this is gonna be some stronger medicine. You need to know the difference between yarrow, Queen Anne's lace, poison hemlock, because there are plants that, that people can mistake yarrow for that would not be good news. It's got these like really distinct looking leaves but they're dry, so you can't really tell what I'm talking about right now. I will put the, the link in the comment below of the video I did on yarrow identification. So I'm packing that in to see how much I actually have here. And once again, it's almost half in this jar. But like I said, it's safe. There's no water content, which is going to be a lot stronger of a medicine. What I do is just pour this vodka over it phone storage got full so you miss me pouring the vodka but and I'm gonna have to get another bottle for this jar but you make sure that it's all packed down and covered and with all the way to the top is what I did and I will just let this sit for about eight weeks about four to six weeks is fine a lot of people a lot of people take it off then but I like to make sure it has time to pull out all of the potent properties and shake it every day if you can. All right, I hope y'all have a blessed day. Thank you.